Okay. I've been asked by others just how could Nabiru be responsible for all these tornadoes and other things. First off not everything is related to Nabiru. There is a lot of stuff also related to harp and so on. There is a pattern to harp and when they are testing, full power exercises are a bit harder to predict though. But how is Nabiru causing all of these weather events and problems? Well this is rather simple. It has to do a lot with its gravitational force. It is having similar effects on the Earth as the Moon. And as I would mentioned before Jupiter. As it nears us and we move, the gravitational forces on the Earth cause friction. These frictions heat up the Earth's core and the Earth's atmosphere. These things yes do get dissipated into space, but as it nears the buildup of heat becomes more than can be dissipated. The effects on tides isn't going to be as widespread as the moon, due to the distance from the Earth that Nabiru is. But due to its gravity strength, it will cause more devastating tidal forces in a smaller area, like the floods last year in Australia, and the current floods happening. Tidal forces causing the waters to rise unnaturally, added by the extra rain being formed by the temperature causing more water to evaporate create these floods. Earthquakes are caused by the stress on the fault lines and such when these tidal forces are over plates, putting more stress on them than normal. Tornadoes are caused by the temperature differences caused by the Earth. And atmosphere warming up interacting with the cooler areas. So yes a lot of these things can be attributed to Nabiru though some is still being caused by harp 